So I think uh, our business is in permanent change. So look for the last 20, 30 years. We have lots of steps in emission, in a driver assistance system, in comfort system. So 20 years ago, it was manual shifting. We had educations for the driver. How is optimal fuel consumption? Now everything is automated. We have best cons uh, fuel consumption already in place and that will continue. I think the speed of change the depth of change, the, the dramaturgy in change will grow if it comes to alternative powertrains, if it comes to automation in further out future driverless. Uh, so that will really, really grow and it has to drive the business of our customers. So they have to make money out of their business and we uh, have to help them. Yeah, for sure you have to develop a safe solution. That is the first of all, you are not allowed to do any, any accidents or something. Look, we have assistance systems like our um, advanced emergency braking. We are introducing here the fifth generation of that. So that's permanent um, development for, in a vision, accident-free, fatality-free driving. And the autonomous uh, has to help uh, this development because um, right now, the drivers are doing 99.9% .9 of time the right things, no accidents, but there is this fatal minute, minute or second where the driver is distracted doing other things, perhaps tired, and then you have this horrible crash and automation and uh, autonomous drivers can provide this safety issue. Yeah, environment means um, what we have in technology today, ensure um, lowest emissions possible. We have wonderful clean diesel engines, but the way is going further to new technologies as this famous truck, the e actress what we are showing here. So electromobility, zero emission operation is one of our big challenges, what we see both for distribution and the long haul on the on the further future.